Now to the Wall Street and another rough day for the markets. The Dow, the Dow down more than 650 points and the S&P 500 closing below 4,000 for the first time in more than a year. News Nation correspondent Tom Nagavan, he is live in New York for us. And Tom, despite the high inflation and the market volatility, Americans are still spending. Gee, you know, it's remarkable to see, actually, Kelsey, that sell-off that you mentioned continuing on Wall Street, the S&P 500 finding a more than 52-week low today. But we still see those other numbers that show Americans willing to part with their cash, apparently making up for lost fun. All those big plans we put off because of the pandemic, looks like we're doing them now. It's definitely going to be a very busy year. Just ask a wedding planner. We're pretty full. We have a few dates left available for 2022. Weddings, <sighs> big trips, even major purchases. After two years of suffering through COVID-19, Americans are ready to live a little or a lot, even though the economy is struggling. Inflation is up, so your dollar buys 8% less than it did a year ago. Interest rates are up too, so it costs more to borrow money. Economists say credit card rates could go as high as 18.5% by the end of the year, which would be an all-time record. And the truth is, we don't seem to care. Consumer spending was up over a full percent in March. Concert promoter Live Nation reports sales up 45 percent. And American Express, it says travel and entertainment spending is up 121 percent. People have been stuck at home for two years, more than two years in many cases. They're going to go on vacation. They don't care anymore. They're not wearing masks. They are ready to hit the road. They don't care what it costs. You know, some interesting other travel notes that we were able to find today. Booking.com just recorded its busiest booking quarter ever in the history of Booking.com. Uh, Clint also has some advice. It'll work for consumers in a couple of other ways, Kelsey. Uh, you may not want to add to your borrowing or your spending right now, and you may not have to if you're willing to wait. If you can hang in there till September, you'll get some deals and incentives on travel that just aren't there right now, if that's what's on your post-COVID-19 bucket list at the moment. People have some pretty long lists right now. Well, Tom, thank you. Really such an unsettling time. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.